Hey, what's up, everyone? Johnny Man here, and welcome back to Diamonds Are Forever. Today is part number four as we continue a little bit of uh, good form here with Rushton and Diamonds in the first season in charge, of course. So, in the last episode, as you can see, um, perfect episode, absolutely perfect, and it was capped off with a nice 2 nor victory over Blackburn Rovers. Today's episode, we start off with Torquay away, Cheltenham at home, Shrewsbury, and then Macclesfield, and then we have a time, we'll take on Southend, and then Carlisle as well. This is the currently the league table, as you can see, performing way above expectations. Uh, currently, uh, seven wins, uh, no defeats out of nine games, so things are going very smoothly, scoring goals for fun and conceding. Not that many. So, so far, so good for us uh, in our time here at Rushton and Diamonds. And obviously, um, there's been some really, really good performances so far this season, especially from this man, Justin Walker. So we're happy to see him do well. He's been a very inspiring signing. Uh, six goals, seven assists, five men of the match awards, and he paid £275,000. So very, very, very good buy. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and skip forward now to uh, the next game. Uh, up against Torquay United. Obviously, we are still on the lookout to improve the squad. Um, so, you know, let's go and do that real quick. Who's interested in making a move to me? Who's going to really, really improve the squad? I mean, Ben Thatcher might be a nice pick up there, but I don't think I can afford his wages there. Eight and a half thousand pounds. He's going to have to take quite a wage cut for me to get him. Um, if, it was, if it was interested in signing, how much would he want? I could try and do a cheeky little deal there for about, let's say, two million if I can do that. Let's do 1.8. Let's see what happens. Um, and obviously, I'm always interested in improving the squad. Dion Burton might be a solid sign of a couple of seasons. Uh, Khan Davison's a good left back. Um, what's my situation right now? Uh, yeah, we've got Paul Underwood, experienced player. Right now, I mean, I've got players on relatively cheap deals. £1,200 is a little bit too much in Paul Underwood. But um, right now, we're, managed, we're managing to really look after our budgets. Uh, actually, take a look at the finances real quick. Finances. All right, so... Right now, expenditure is far, far too high. So spending more money really isn't going to help that. So I may not try and bring any more players in. Second four, second four. I'm not going to try and bring any more quite now. Oh, yeah, I tried to bring in John and Mackin on loan. That didn't happen, though, unfortunately. Um, speaking of loan deals, I could try and bring someone in on loan. Patrick Sufo, um, very determined striker. Colin Nish. This is be all strikers, isn't it, really? Um, I do need a centre-half. I've wanted James Dudgeon yet to make that much of an impact from me, though. Maybe we'll wait and see what he can do first before we add any extra players there. Chris Urolomo. That's a big man. Um, tempted to bring him in. Tempting, tempting. But the form of um, Hasmidovic and obviously Varinen, too. Their form is really good. They're just coming to the club and the score goals are fun. So, again, it's it's... The, again, it, it's very much like I want to keep improving the squad because I have the money to do so right now. I might not get the money next season. Um, we're playing Watford, by the way, in the third round of the League Cup. So I'm kind of caught between two minds. I'm spending the money now and then or, or maybe wait till later in the season if we get injuries and stuff like that. Uh, but the offer has been accepted for Ben Thatcher. So let's see what kind of money he wants. Obviously, he will be indispensable to the club. Um, he's actually willing to take a pay cut to join me, so that's actually pretty decent. However, he wants a minimum free release clause of three point, sorry, twenty five thousand pounds. Obviously, I'm paying one point eight for him, so I'm going to want at least a profit. If the guy wants to move on, he's going to have to, he's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to negotiate a little bit with me because I'm not going to give him a release clause of three hundred thousand pounds after paying one point eight. That's just absurd. Um, will increase his wages a little bit. Uh, sign on fee. We'll do a little bit more on that too. That's, that's too much more. That's what I hate about, by the way. I'm playing um, Championship Manager 0102 on um, Windows 10. And as you can see, it's very difficult sometimes to control um, these uh, RC boxes. Um, all right, let's see what he says. Um, if we get him in, that'd be a big, big sign in for us. Obviously, a left back and a center half could do both positions pretty well. I imagine if I get him in, I'll probably play him at center half. It just seems a bit natural role for him and he, he's going to agree to sign for me 1.8 million for ben thatcher that's actually a pretty decent sign he's only 25 years old as well so he could be with us for quite some time um actually very impressive he managed to get someone the likes of ben thatcher it doesn't sound very exciting um but uh, he's certainly better than what we have um all right so who, who should i who should i drop in his place should i play him at left back should i maybe put him center half instead of way warburton maybe retire him early he is 33 years old. He's been some good shifts, but not that great. So, you know what? Yeah, we'll start Ben Thatcher today ahead of uh, Ray Warburton. 
Um, we got Dudgeon on the bench as well. So, yeah, I mean, that makes sense to me. Time to retire him, I believe. Um, so Lincoln is back and available. Um, it looks like because I had some injuries in the last time out. So we'll put him on the bench instead of Brady. Um, oh, yeah, and Bjornsson is back from injury as well. So he's, he knocked in three goals in five games, average of 8.0. So he's had a pretty good start. All right. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So Ben Fatchy gets number 33. And let's proceed to the first game up against Torquay United. Um, and we got some uh, we got some players I, I kind of recognize. Brian Healy kind of rings a bell. Um, Tony Badu. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's, get, let's get the game started, shall we? Alex Russell. Decent young player. Not young player, but decent player. Um, all right, so here we go. Uh, Russian Diamonds away. This should be, should be pretty simple, I would imagine. Uh, Russian Diamonds away here against Torquay. Uh, how are Torquay doing? 1-0 up, by the way. 1-1. One, one. Um, Torquay are currently 19th in the table. Vasanen getting his third goal in third game for us. So a good start to his career with us, the young Finnish player. All right, so approaching halftime here, and it's 1-1, one, one, but we are dominating the game, um, as to be expected, as I mentioned. I do expect to win here and win pretty comfortably. Hopefully get a goal here quick. There you go, Walker gets himself a goal. Uh, seventh goal of the season for Walker. Um, all right, so we'll make a change. Beyonce gets a goal, by the way, too. Makes it 3-1, but it's a game beyond doubt now. Let's take a look at the condition of the guys. Who needs a break? Kelly can come off here for Butra. Um, Gary Mills for Lincoln. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll move Beyonce inside to play as the holding midfielder. So 3-1 uh, here. Looks like it's going to be another comfortable victory and a good way to start the episode. All right, how's Ben Thatcher doing? Uh, 7 out of 10, not bad. Not a bad display. Not a bad display for his debut. Solid. I know for 1.8 million, I expect more than solid. Um, but there you have it. It's only so much you could do at centre-half. But uh, we dominate the game, um, so that's pleasing to see. And we come away with a very, very comfortable victory. So, on to the next one. Um, on to the next one. I can't remember we're playing now. That's a problem when you have uh, ADHD like I do. You just forget everything. Um, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so. Things looking good. I mean, I don't know what to add, to be honest with you. Uh, players are playing very well so far. I'm obviously looking forward to that League Cup game up against Wigan at home. We obviously knocked out uh, Wolves and then Blackburn Rovers. So let's see if we can keep the cup run going. Um Obviously, it's strange. Uh, Wigan is now the easiest team, I think. Is it Wigan we're playing? Was it Wigan? I can't remember now. Jeez. My memory is absolutely atrocious today. You can tell I'm recording this at 2 in the morning. Um, ridiculous time to record, admittedly. All right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see what's going on here, shall we? I got manager of the month, so that's awesome. Yay for me. Uh, Beyonce got the player of the month. Good for him. Uh, Daniel Bent. Um got himself the English uh, Young Player of the Month Award. Congratulations. Um, yep, the director's very happy with me, as you would expect. Uh, and I reserve team lose. So, all right, let's go clear up some of those question marks I had. Yeah, we're playing uh, Cheltenham at home and then Watford, sorry, not Wigan, uh, Watford at home in the League Cup. So, all right, so, all right, we'll keep this moving forward. I'm thinking about moving on some players too, by the way. Uh, put them up for sale. Just try and make some money back on the, the money, money that we spend. Obviously, the Ben Thatcher was the first major deal I've done. Um, everything else was, was, was kind of semi-minor, to be honest with you. Um, Hasmetovic, age £25,000, was the closest after the Ben Thatcher deal. Um, yeah, I, I probably put, should put some up for, uh, players up for sale. Um, let's put Gary Setchell up for sale. Just for now, Dean Talbot is a young lad. We could definitely use him. Uh, Jim Rodwell, yeah, he can, he can go, certainly. Put him up for a transfer. He's wanted already, so that's promising. Probably get move him on pretty quick. Um, Mikkel Hatton got himself a couple goals. Forgot about that. Shane Kirby. Simon Wormel. Well, he has no place in the team with me, does he? Um, so, you know, I'll go ahead and list him. We'll get a tidy fee for him, no doubt. Uh, Sandbrook, he's, he's, he's trash, isn't he? So we'll move him on. Um, how about up top? We don't need all these strikers, do we? Uh, Seguez on 2,700. Partridge on 750. 
Duffy's on 250 and then Dwayne Darby on two and a half thousand pounds. But I'm not selling Dwayne Darby. Uh, so you know what? John Miguel, I'm sorry, you're the one that's going to have to leave. So he's wanted already by uh, Calais and Hull. Uh, we'll see if any, any deals materialize there. So anyway, here we go. Up against uh, Cheltenham now at home. Uh, checking condition. Everyone looks pretty good to go. Same lineup. No need to make any changes after that comfortable win last time out. All right. So it's fun. It's a 1-0 down already, so that's not a great start. We've got the goal. Uh, Tony Naylor, but lucky enough, um, Hadzimenovic gets a goal back. That's his seventh now in eight games, so he's at a... An unbelievable start to his campaign with us as well. Makes it 8-8 eight eight now for this young man. Very promising player. Um, expect big things of him over the next couple of years. 2-2. Two -two. Turns to quite the game for the neutral. I'm starting to see goals here. Obviously in the last one we didn't concede that many. A lot of clean sheets. But this one, the first two games, we've already conceded three goals. So a little disappointing. Especially after spending the type of money we spent on Ben Thatcher. Uh, the trouble is, maybe he's a bit more suited for the left-back role than he is a centre-half. Obviously, Billy Turley's having a rough game here at four as well. Maybe we'll go look for, maybe to bring in a goalkeeper to replace him. And uh, in the blink of an eye, it's the 82nd minute already. So um, I've had run out of time here to get a victory, and this could be a very disappointing draw. Um, let's bring on Dudgeon for Mark Peters as well, because he's struggling. Captain, give it to Ben Thatcher. Um, Lincoln, I guess, could come on. Let's see if it makes a difference. Um, he can play right. Bjornsson can play center. So we've got eight minutes to go here to try and get a winner, which I'll find out shortly if we can do it or not. Three knots. So, disappointing. Good display. Uh, played well enough. Just didn't get the uh, the victory we deserve. Um, all right. So, disappointing draw there is Cheltenham. Cheltenham doing well in the league table, though. They are third in the table. So, maybe I shouldn't be too harsh on the boys for that. Um... Let's look at goalkeepers. What goalkeepers can I bring in immediately that's going to make a difference? Um, Zilko Kalic wants to join. He's obviously an Australian goalkeeper. He used to play for Leicester City. Um, he was a, he's got a transfer list, so 1.6 million for him. Uh, I've got 3.3 .3 left to spend. Uh, Marcus Hanneman, the American goalkeeper. It's a possibility. Um, Thomas Myra, that could be a good signing, couldn't he? Good goalkeeper for his time. Norwegian international. Everton player, it's only on £700,000 there, so that's a possibility. Um, maybe we should try and target a younger goalkeeper, maybe 1925. Uh, Jürgen Macho, uh, Aust Austrian goalkeeper, plays Sunderland and Austria Vienna. Baron, don't know too much about this guy. Um, go ahead and scout him, see what he's like. Um, Alan Morrison, Celtic, transfer listed, don't anything about him. Let's go ahead and scout him, see what I get out of him. Uh, Heikkinen, no, he's not very good, is he? He's not very good either, you're not very good. David Priest, that might be a really good signing, actually. Very brave goalkeeper, as you can see, 20. Uh, Handling's a 13, could be a little bit better. Um, but he's so far the best player I've seen thus far. Let's see what I can do here. Five hundred thousand pounds. Let's see what happens with that deal. Being another goalkeeper, obviously, and Billy Turley get a four out of ten last time out, making a couple of mistakes. Obviously, um, not not ideal. So the piece offer has been accepted. Five hundred thousand pounds. He wants to be a squad rotation player. I feel like he's better than Billy Turley already. Um, minimum fee release clause up. That two and a half million. All right. Let's see what he says. I expect the deal probably will go through with that. But um, as I mentioned in the last video, by the way, if you guys are watching this for the first time, I am decided not to use any uh, Wonder Kid sheets or go for players that I am 100% familiar with, such as the uh, CM0102 Legends. Uh, I'm trying to avoid those players if possible. Um, there are some that I, I obviously want to get a hold of, such as Cherno Samba, Tom Madeira, because you know it's it's a championship manager save. You got to go for those guys. Um, but the rest of them, um, I'm going to try and find some hidden gems. Uh, try and think outside the box. Try and make it more interesting, a bit more realistic, if I possibly can. And um, this is another good signing here. I think David Priest. He looks like a good goalkeeper for the price, five hundred thousand pounds. And I think um, immediately, I think he's already better than the two goalkeepers we have in uh, Tony Panic. And uh, Billy Turley, yeah, he's quite a bit better than both of them. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a good assignment. It's a really good addition to the team. That's going to help shore up the defense a little bit, obviously, after conceding three goals in the last couple of games. 
not really been the start to the episode I'd hoped for for our defense. Um, offers are coming in for Simon Wormhole as well, trying to get him off the books because he's making too much money and he's kind of sitting on his ass doing nothing. So might as well try and move him on, try and make some money. All right, so... Yep, you guys got a wing and fifty-five thousand pounds. It's fine by me. All right, so next up we got uh, Shrewsbury, and then Macclesfield games in short succession. Uh, play Cheltenham on the Saturday. Sorry, you play Shrewsbury on the Saturday, and then Macclesfield on the Tuesday. All right. Obviously, it will be debut for uh, David Priest, by the way, as well at the weekend. I mean, you know, providing he doesn't get injured in training or something ridiculous. <sighs> All these awkward silences in between. I've got to work out something to say here. Um. Anyway, new board taken over Everton, given £6 million. Pounds. All right, that's not really a lot of money. I suppose it was back then, but not really a lot of money by today's standards. Um. Underwood's also injured, so this gives an opportunity now to actually move Ben, Fa ben Thatcher to left back. And then I could probably bring back Warburton, maybe. Tempting. But I'm actually going to play Dungeon. And then instead, Billy Turley. Obviously, Priest comes into the team for the first time. Um, to Turley, Warburton comes back into selection. Um, condition of the guys. Everyone looks pretty good, happy and healthy. All right, let's get it going. Obviously, uh, we're playing away from home at Shrewsbury. How are they doing in the table? They are mid-table side. Four, four wins, three draws, four defeats. Not conceded many goals. Only conceded nine goals. Actually, the fewest in the league. So... I suppose we could be a tough team to break down here. We score a goal straight away, so there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, for signing us his fourth goal in just five appearances. So our two new young strikers had a good start. You've got to get to goal here. First goal conceded by Priest and an injury to Gary Mills. All right, so things not going quite as planned. Obviously, getting the early goal was nice, but losing Mills and conceding essentially straight away afterwards wasn't ideal. All right, come on, boys. They've only had one shot on target. That's not good, is it? Not spending half a million pounds on a goalkeeper. I don't expect that to happen. Um, all right, so. 54 minutes on the clock. It's going towards a draw again. It's not what I want. All right, so I'll make some changes. Make some changes, make some changes. So. Uh, Butra, he's a forward. I could do something a little bit aggressive here. I could bring off Bjornsson and move Butra and tell Butra to push on with the two other midfielders to try and support the attack. To try a little bit of a, bit of a last minute charge, as it were, to try and get a, uh, a late winner. Gone. Oh, that was an opportunity then for Walker, I think that fell too. But they only had two shots on goal for us today and they managed to get a draw. So disappointing, really. Um, disappointing draw. That's a game we should have won. I think won comfortably as well. So, um, new player got seven out of ten. By the way, Priest got seven out of ten. Had a Thatcher do it left back six out of ten. He's got he's got to get better. Thatcher hasn't he? Paid one point eight million pounds for him. I expect a lot, a lot, and more. All right, all right. So lucky enough though, um, we have a game just three days from now to try and make up for that result and performance. Uh, the FA Cup would get Rochdale, so that's a favourable draw, especially at home. Not good, but it's a pretty good draw. Pretty good draw. All right, so. Let me see. I'm trying to think of a team we could probably improve. I mean, there's a lot of areas we could improve. It's just that if I want to spend the money or not. I'm trying to avoid spending too much money. I'll probably sell before I even buy again, I imagine. Um, all right, so players' fitness. Everyone's pretty good fatches and 92 percent um obviously you've lost mills today so that's a bit disappointing um lincoln comes into the side there beyond some move central and then lincoln goes to the right so uh lincoln's actually wanted by crystal palace interestingly enough so they're coming for a big bid for him i might consider moving him on because he hasn't really adjusted to the the new role of right back or sense midfield all that well he definitely could be doing better than he has been um carry goes to the bench then instead of should i put carry there Carry, carry on McHatton. Let's do McHatton instead. All right, so he's unhappy with training. So yeah, he's not adapting very well 
to my uh, training regime, which usually isn't a good sign. Um, all right, so here we go. Macclesfield at home. Macclesfield, uh, what are they in the table? What are they? They're actually second. First versus second. Big game here today. Big games here in Neem Park. Didn't actually realize I should have looked that up before. Um, let's see what's going on here. They haven't had a shot on goal. It's been absolutely, I mean, I won't say, we haven't said we dominated. We've only had four shots ourselves. But at the same time, we're definitely the better team here. So hopefully we'll take advantage and get a goal. There we go. Get in there. Beyond some fifth goal of the season for that man. So 66 minutes on the clock. Still leading 1-0 here. Maybe a 2-0 perhaps. Lincoln get in there. Greg Lincoln from the penalty spot makes it 2-0. And that should put the game, I think, beyond doubt now. Um, Maxisford hasn't really turned up today at all. So we'll bring a change. Boutre is going to come on there. Um, other changes can we make. Take out the condition of the players real quick. Lincoln is struggling, so McHatton will come on in his spot. Uh, yet to have a shot on goal. It defended very, very well, obviously. Oh, there's a shot. Yep, on target as well, but uh, Priest is more than the match for it, by the look of things. Unless that's going to be a very comfortable 2 0 win. Oh, never mind. 2 1 win. Disappointed to concede that at the end. Lee Glover getting himself a goal. That's his 11th for the season, too, by the way. So he's on fine form for them. But nevertheless, it is a um, nice 2 1 victory here up against Macclesfield. And you know what keeps us our unbeaten run going, which is pleasing, especially early here. The early goings look pretty promising. It looks like we might be able to get promotion at first time of asking, which is amazing. Um, given the money we have, that's all, that's all that's to be expected, isn't it? Um, so let me see, we got South End next up and then perhaps Carlisle. So let's go ahead and jump forward here, shall we? Let's see if we can squeeze in maybe a couple more games before the end of the episode. I'm trying to keep it around 25 to 30 minutes if possible. Um, Mike Duff, why won't you sign for me? Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to keep things around about that mark because I feel those are digestible kind of episodes, I guess, the, the word. I don't know if that's really a word to use in the situation, but um, just more, you, you can, uh, the view I tend to find enjoys the 25 to 30 minute mark over like a 45 minute episode because I felt like those are too long, especially on my voice. And I haven't got a lot to say anyway, as you could probably tell. I mean, Championship Manor doesn't really give you a lot to play with as far as commentary goes. So um, for my sanity and the quality of the content, I think I'm going to try and keep it around 25 minutes if possible. But if you're really opposed to that, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely take your feedback into consideration oh yes i forget we are signing uc norelli and he's joining us in november um promising signing there good looking center half and then we'll also get burke and Algen as well i think and uh, nope he's joining hanover we went for him last episode that's what happened okay that's fine we'll move forward here try and squeeze in two more games if we possibly can uh so obviously super happy the way the season started unbeaten in all competitions uh league cup obviously two giant killings so Things are going very, very smoothly for us. But as we know from all management games, as soon as things start to go a little bit too well, the game tends to throw a few spanners your way, either through injuries or poor form, morale, one of the things, or disgruntled player destroying the team's morale. All right, so South End here away from home. They, it looks like they are um, 13th in the table from what I saw. Uh, player fitnesses, Thatcher and Peters aren't struggling. They're not going to play today, nor is Cogger. We will take the squad out. So, left back today um, will be, would have been Paul Underwood. However, we'll go with Dean Talbot. Um, centre half, we're going to do Warburton. I'm oh, sorry, right back first, Mustafa. Uh, centre half, Warburton. Uh, Thatcher will play on the bench. Uh, disappointing for a £1.8 million signer to be dropped already for fitness. His form hasn't been that good either. I've been very disappointed with him thus far. Hopefully, we'll see the best of him perhaps in the next episode. Um... Everything else looking pretty good, though. Let's get it going. South and away from home. Let's try and get another victory here. Or at least avoid a defeat. 35 goals, by the way, in the league's a pretty impressive start. Only have 14 games. So uh, scoring goals is certainly not the problem. I just hope that we won't start conceding them at the same time. All right. So here, yeah, 10 minutes in, and we are 1-0 down. Carl Hutchins getting his fourth goal of the season for South End. F one shot as well. Disappointing, really. Obviously, we're we're conceding we're conceding clear cut chances by look of things. When teams break us down, it looks like they get good chances because they only seem to get one shot on goal and it goes in. David Priest is certainly more than the capable goalkeeper. We can take a look at that from his attributes, you know. So that's it's it's kind of unusual. Anyway, um, McHatton comes on for the injured Greg Lincoln. Disappointed to lose Greg. Um, 
Bjornsson's going to push forward here instead of Melkatten, just because we know Bjornsson can get goals. So I need him supporting the front line. Get in there, the sign-in. Fifth goal of the season for that man. He's all looking pretty good. I mean, his attributes don't actually look that great, but his dribbling was very, very attractive there at 20. That kind of made me feel like I had to get a deal done for him, and so far he's proven to be a very, very good sign -in. All right, so halftime here, 1-1. One, one. Um, Southend actually playing pretty good. Six shots to our 12, however. Um, Percentage-wise, last five minutes or so, it's been all South End. So putting the pressure on a little bit. And Southend's made it two fucking nil. All right, so Paul Tate's there getting a goal, fifth goal of the season for him. Let's see what happens here in the next couple of minutes. If not, we'll make some changes. Obviously, we do have options on the bench. Mainly Butch, oh, 3 1. All right, I'm going to be forced to make changes here. Looks like we could get our first defeat of the season here, unfortunately. Um, Bjornsson struggled today. We'll take him off. We'll bring on Butra in his spot. And we'll also push McHatton forward. Um, Gray, I mean, that's not really an option, is it? Let's bring off, let's bring on Thatcher for Daniel Talbot. All right, so. Lucky enough, we've got time here to, to try and resurrect this game. Not going to win, but we might get a draw. Never mind, we're not going to get anything out of this game. So 4-1. So it looks like our first defeat of the season. And it's going to come in spectacular fashion here against Southend away from home. Lucky enough, though, we've got enough points to stay top of the table. Although it's still early going on the table. It's only, what, 14 games? Yeah, 14 games. So a disappointing result there. Disappointing performance all the way around. Um... Who had a bad game? No one had a bad game. A couple of sixes in there, which is disappointing. They had a lot of good performances in there. So obviously they played up to standard. We played below it. And unfortunately that happened, didn't it? So, all right. So we've lost Greg Lincoln, by the way, for two whole weeks. Um, Let's go ahead and clear the squad real quick. Or reset it for the next game. Do we have time for that? Yeah, I think we have time for that. We'll do one more real quick. And it's only three days. Yeah, so do a new Carlisle. And we'll finish off the episode there. And then the next episode, we start for Swansea and Watford. Um, obviously, two pretty big games for us. So, all right. Yeah, disappointing result that time around. Yeah, losing 4 1 there. Wasn't many on the cards. Expected another victory, but well, there, there you have it. And uh, Mike Duff is going to sign for Bradford. So, all in all, it's not been a good week for me in charge. Uh, by the way, Mike Duff is one of those wonder players I'll tell you, I was, I was talking about earlier on. And I'm trying to avoid signing, but he's a player that I traditionally always sign. So I'm disappointed not to get him this time around. Him and Jamie Victory tend to be tend to be really good solid signings, no matter who you who you manage him. All right, so everyone looks pretty good to go. Hasmanovic is struggling at 89%, but I will give him a run out today. Priest obviously going to be in goal left back. It's going to be uh, Thatcher Cogger at right back, and um, then we'll go with Peters and Warburton. No, uh, Warburton perhaps not. No, we'll do Dungeon. Uh, dungeon. Um, holding midfielder, Stephenson. No other choice, really, to go off right now. Uh, midfield, um, we'll do... Obviously, Walker has to start. Bjornsson's fit. And then, do we go McHatton? Do we go Carey? Do we go Brady? We'll do Brady for this one. We'll do Brady. And then we'll do, obviously, Hasmanovic and then the sign on up top. Um, scrap that. I'm going to do Butra. I'm going to start Butra. Hasmanovic, he's an 89%. I thought about starting him, but changed my mind, as a lot of good managers do. Obviously, just judge me on my results. Um, Wilberton, McHatton, Hasmanovic, and Carey, I guess. Sure. We'll roll with that. Mark Peters, captain. Let's get it going. So, Carl out here at home, trying to finish off the episode. Obviously, this points in the last time out. Let's try and finish this in style, shall we? There you go. Get in there, John Cogger. The young right back gets a second goal of the season. All right, so things going pretty good. Get in there for signing. For signing, for signing, whatever you pronounce it. Butro also getting on the score sheet as well. Sixth goal of the season for him. So he is a nice return as well. He was a free agent signing for us. So it's good to see him on the score sheet and 3 0 up. Playing very, very comfortably. Carlisle right now on the table looks like they're a lower half. So. This is a game, no doubt, we are favourites for. I'm glad we're living up to expectations with that, too. 
All right, come on, boys. So 15 minutes left. Yeah, easy peasy. Game's all wrapped up now. I'm going to worry about it. We can make some changes, though. Um, Butcher, Ida, Kerry, Brady, and then... Yeah, that's fine. I'll do for now. Just in case I get an injury, I'll make two subs. As a rule, I try and follow it in uh, Championship Manager and Football Manager to never make three changes at once. I tried to follow it. Never. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but generally speaking, I try and avoid three subs because I feel like that tempts the AI into giving us an injury or sending off and leaves us, you know, shorthanded um, or at least out, awkwardly out of position with players, but um, not this time. So 3 no win over Carl Lyle. Comfortable way to finish the episode, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, league table real quick. As you can see, things going well, just one defeat, and that will happen in the episode. Obviously, we bounced back nicely from that 4-1 defeat against South End. So things are looking pretty promising right now. Uh, five points clear, later 9 and Oxford. Um, scoring goals for fun, as you can see. Um, Lincoln are currently fourth place in the table, um, currently seven points behind us. So things are going very, very smoothly um, here for the Diamonds. Um, let's take a look at the fixtures real quick for us. We'll talk about the next episode obviously it's um kind of a big one actually uh we start off with swansea away from home we know swansea are a big team for this level not doing very well though they are 10th place in division three um they're having a rough time of things and then we play on watford who have an actually pretty good season in uh, division one they got some very talented um age-old players definitely from my time as being a season ticket holder, something I recognize some of these guys. Uh, Ramon Vega obviously Paolo Vanaza used to play for Arsenal um Alan Nilsson, talented Danish midfielder. Stephen Glass, never lived up to expectation. Um, Heide Helgeson, big target man up top. Gifted Noel Williams, Marcus Gale, Tommy Smith. Um, felt like he carried on forever, didn't he? Um, who else is in there? Goalkeeper Chamberlain, Alan, um, Alec Chamberlain. Um, I think this is almost around the time that Stampton went to the FA Cup final. Could have been the season afterwards. And then we took on Watford in the semifinals at, at Villa Park. I was actually there for that day. But anyway, um, enough rambling uh, to one side. Uh, thanks so much for watching the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your support so far in this series. I'm very happy to hear that there are lots of Championship Manager enthusiasts still out there on the internet, still on YouTube, enjoying this kind of content because I enjoy bringing it to you. So um, thanks so much for your support. Really appreciate it. If you guys are new here, you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. Uh, like the video too if you want to help promote it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the very next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.